Hello maths learners, in this video I'm going to be going over factorizing algebraic expressions. I'm going to explain what factorizing is, the different types of factorizing that you can expect and that you need to be able to do, and I'm also going to explain what factorizing is at its core so that you understand what's going on. I'm going to explain what it is essentially the opposite of. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. My name is Miss Martins. I'm your new maths teacher. Let's do this. The very first thing that I need you guys to understand before we even hop into the different types of factorizing is that factorizing is essentially the opposite or the inverse of expanding or multiplying out. What do you mean by this, ma'am? Let's take a look at an example. If I give you something like this, and I tell you to simplify that or expand or multiply into the brackets or apply the distributive law, you'll say, okay, cool, ma'am. Four is outside the brackets, which means I can multiply the four into the brackets. Four gets multiplied by x squared to give me four x squared. Four gets multiplied by the two to give me eight. There we go, ma'am. I've simplified it. I've expanded. I've multiplied into the brackets. I'm done. I can't add those two terms. They're not like terms. 100%. Well done. Now, what I need to show you guys is that this is called expanding or simplifying. This is expanding or simplifying. If I ask you to factorize this expression that I've got here, 4x squared plus 8, what I'm asking you to do is essentially the opposite of what we just did. I'm asking you to go backwards to the first step. Now, if you have a little bit of an idea of factorizing, you'll know that I need to take out the highest common factor in this expression. What that means is I need to take up the biggest number that can divide into both my coefficients. So what is the biggest number that can divide into 4 and 8? Well, 4. I cannot take out an x, a variable, because only my first term over here has a variable, it has an x. My second term, my 8, has no variable. So 4 is my highest common factor. Then I open up a set of brackets like that. And I take my first term, which is 4x squared, and I divide it by 4. I divide it by the highest common factor. And I'm left with x squared, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. And we know we don't need to write the 1 in front of the x squared. Then I take my second term, which is 8. I divide it by 4, and I get 2. If you guys look at what we just did, we literally went backwards. So expanding, we multiplied into these brackets to produce 4x squared plus 8. When I factorized, and in this case, I took out a highest common factor, that's all I did. I went backwards. So I end up back at my question. That is essentially what factorizing is. And these are the different types of factorizing that we will cover in high school. We've got highest common factor, which I literally just did with you. Common bracket, which is essentially highest common factor. Difference of two squares. We've got trinomials. We've got sum and difference of cubes. As you know, in grade nine, you'll only focus on the first four. We expand to the other types as we move to the senior grades. In videos to come, I'll go over each of the different types of factorizing and do examples of each. If you'd like to see this, comment down below and let me know which type of factorizing you struggle with the most and you would like to see, first of all, and also which one is your favorite. Remember to subscribe and join my math classroom if you don't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.